Hello everyone and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria and we've got your daily reading here for Thursday, August the 1st of 2024. Yes, here folks, we are starting August off with uh, a potential bang. <laughs> um, we, uh, there's not some major energies going on today for you guys, but tomorrow we have Venus in the sign of Leo, right? Where she's very happy, very comfortable, um, but creating a square with Uranus in Taurus. So this is a snap, crackle, and pop energy that is coming in for us. Venus in Leo, very much about our pleasure, our love life, our creativity, our resources. Um, Uranus shakes things up. Uranus brings um, unexpected things, very hard to predict, very unpredictable, typically a rebellious kind of energy and uh, bringing us freedom ultimately. So if there's some, some area where you've been feeling kind of stuck or lost or you've in a relationship, maybe there's been something that's kind of been brewing behind the scenes, um, this can be where something really does kind of come to a head, right? It, it explodes kind of thing, right? And Uranus being in the sign of Taurus, this can certainly be something to do with your finances as well. Tor Taurus is very earthy energy ruled by Venus and Taurus does deal with money, finances, um, both personal and global, also deals with resources, but also the things that make you feel comfortable and secure. So in this energy, there could be some breakups, there could be some shakeups, but there could also be some explosive energy of something coming in. So surprises all around, we will feel this energy a little bit before it happens, which is why I'm bringing it up today and not tomorrow. So I'll mention it tomorrow as well, I am sure. So expect the unexpected with this square when we have squares, like things squaring off, right? Um, it's like an impasse. Uh, like a standoff, if you will, right? I'm right, you're, I'm right, I'm right. No, we're both right. No, we can't have both being both people being right. It's not possible. So anyways, but there could be some breakups and shakeups in the financial markets. There could be something in finances with one of your relationships. It could be romantic. It could be family. It could be children. Um, there could be some arguments going on. But then again, there could also be some very unexpected but very welcome news. So something can happen out of the blue uh, that can propel you forward to the future. Uranus, again, is very futuristic energy, right? So this can be really uh, exciting for some of you. If you're single looking for love, boom, this can be that love at first sight energy. Um, if you're needing a little bit more money, boom, this can be where something happens and something comes in. All right. But whatever the situation is, something that is stuck, right? That squared off energy, something that is stuck releases in some way. All right. And sometimes in some cases we pick up the pieces as this energy passes. And in some, we just gather all of our resources and our blessings with it. So depending on what your circumstances are, if there's been something behind the scenes going on that's been bottled up, expect it to come out. We have the emperor coming in here first for you guys. Try and get the glare off that. Uh, the emperor, this is your overall energy for your day. Take charge, take lead, be in a uh, energy of... I am creating a strategy, I'm creating a plan, I'm executing that plan, I'm feeling very confident, I know what I want and I know how to get it done. So this is very much a take charge leadership kind of energy and this can be your energy. Now it is also Aries energy as well. So Aries is really good at starting something, initiating something. And so this can be that you uh, think, uh, I think yes, Yes, the, yesterday, the day before. Anyways, um, one of the readings that we had this week, we had the Fool card, right? But I think we also had some procrastination energy here as well. So the Emperor is where we get our stuff together. We say, okay, today's the day. I'm going to get something off the ground. I have everything that I need, all my ducks in a row. I've got a plan in place, and we're going to get this thing done. So it's a very take charge energy, and it is also a successful energy as well. Now, the emperor also can represent a person that you're dealing with today. Now, this emperor is in the upright. Yay. Okay. The emperor reversed is a little bit more challenging. However, this can be someone who gives you some guidance, leadership, or advice. 
this can be uh, a goal that you have in mind because it is big boss energy so you could be considering maybe you're considering opening your own business expanding your own business perhaps you're considering you know how do i make more money in this world i need more stability and security the emperor does bring stability and security and this can be where you're like you know what i need to take more responsibility i need to up my game and so you could be looking for uh, a job in you know something where you can be in that leadership kind of role but yes this can be some advice for you today it can also be a um uh, a masculine father figure right and so this can be uh grandpa it can be your father it can be an uncle um or it can be someone that's kind of in that uh that dominant father kind of role and this can be someone who you have dealings with today, right? So you could be um, repairing a relationship, maybe you're spending some time with them, or they may be helping you out with something, but it's a positive influence in that upright. Now we have the hanged man coming in here for you guys as well. Now this is a blessing for you, okay? So the blessing with the hanged man is letting go, right? We're turning things upside down, um, we're letting go of things that have been keeping us stuck or trapped. Um, we're letting go of preconceived ideas in this energy as well, right? It's like, I'm going to be in the flow instead of focused on the one exact thing because then we're open to suggestion, we're open to change, we're open to... Um, uh, alternate ways of doing things and with the emperor right beside that the emperor is all about strategy right to rule the empire and a strategy a wise person emperor a wise person knows that okay we need to we need to start out with a plan we need a strategy right we need to figure out where are we starting where are we planning on heading to but a really smart, intelligent, successful person will know when to adjust the strategy along the way instead of stubbornly clinging to the one thing. So that can be a key to success in that hanged man energy is about being in the flow, surrendering to uh, a, a direction that we're going in, but willing to bend a little bit. And we let we surrender, we sacrifice, and we're not clinging on to stuff. Part of the energy here as well, I do see maybe a repairing of a relationship also, okay, especially considering the um the square that we've got coming in with Venus and your and Uranus, right? And so this can be some money matters where we're resolving. This can be uh, something in a relationship where we could potentially be healing. And the blessing here is that both people are willing to let certain things go. Let something go. Uh, let go of anger or hate or just recognize the hanged man is all about perception and perspective. Right. And this can be where we recognize that we're we don't always see eye to eye. We do see things differently. Our perception of situations and events is different because we have different experiences in our lives. And that is a blessing when we recognize that. So whether this is your boss, a coworker, a family member or something in yourself, whatever it happens to be, this is like I'm willing to step into a deeper level of understanding, put myself in someone else's shoes, or again, just recognize that we do come from different places. And it's a little bit of acceptance there. The hanged man, we do get enlightenment. We do get deeper understanding. We can get clarity of something. We can see the big picture, right? We can see the potential and the possibilities of things as well. So taking that step back can really help propel us forward. We have the five of pentacles in reverse. So this is a challenge, all right? Your challenge position, not impossible though. Now the five of pentacles is a challenging card, whether it's in its upright or its reverse. However, the reversal does indicate that there's a potential for something to improve, something to get better. Now with this energy coming in, there could be something to do with your money right? Five of pentacles, money, resources, right? Your finances, how you make your money, how you spend your money, unexpected bills, draining your bank account, all of that kind of stuff. But in the upright, it's like, or in the reverse, excuse me, 
But in the challenge position, it's like, okay, this is what we really need to focus on. We need to focus on making improvements somewhere in our lives. Is it your money situation? Is it just your own money? Is it your money with another person? Is it um, the money that you make that you come in? It's like, I really want those improvements. I want abundance, not lack. The five pentacles is lack energy. And yeah, it can be a real challenge sometimes to turn a negative into a positive. But we've got the hangman there turning that frown upside down, right? So, you know, in this energy, it's like if we focus on the things that need improvement, the things that need to be fixed, if we're willing to let something go, hanged man, then this is where we see things start to turn around. So whatever your situation happens to be, right, we do need to focus on the issue, on the challenge at hand, and we do need to turn around our perspective a little bit. Sometimes things do feel bleak and dreary. Sometimes things do feel like, oh my God, I'm never going to get my work done, or I'm, I don't have the resources to do this, or I'm not making enough money, or I've got this problem with this person in my life. But if we work together and we focus on a desired outcome or focus on peace, right, um, moving something forward from an area of difficulty, then we will succeed. So this can be very much a challenge. Five of Pentacles is not a card that we typically want to see. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, right? Two of the more difficult cards. But the Five of Pentacles sometimes I think is actually um, more difficult only because it deals with real things, right? It deals with um, physical things, right? Like your money, your house, <clears throat> your bills that are coming in, right? All of these things that affect us on a daily basis. And yes, there's feelings attached to those things, but when we don't feel abundance in our physical world in some way, it can affect us like a little bit deeper, right? We always feel like we're in a little bit of a rabbit hole. But the five of pentacles does remind us there's help and there's resources and there's opportunities and there's a better way that's available to us, but we sometimes stubbornly cling to the fact that there isn't. So it's really changing around that mindset that can be incredibly difficult. But the hangman energy overrides that five of pentacles. So this is more of a blessing than initially thought, right? We've got the knight of pentacles as your advice from spirit. Focus on the task at hand, pay attention to the details and trust in your journey. Take things one step at a time, one challenge at a time, one day at a time, and you will get to where you want to get to. The knight of pentacles often does um, have some financial ties to it. It has some success tied to it, right? The Knights are always on a quest and the Knight of Pentacles always succeeds, right? But it's by taking things slow. It's by doing things one day at a time. And it is by paying attention to those little details that can sometimes really trip us up. So keep moving forward one step at a time. Whatever situation is creating a challenge for you, whether it's a daily challenge here or whether it's something a little bigger, because we do have some big energies here, focus on a resolution. Focus on your goal, right? You will find opportunities. You will, um, you know, you will find a way forward no matter what, right? But we've got to be patient. We've got to take our time. All right. I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you today. If so, please do hit like on this video. It does help it get seen. So I appreciate that free for you though, but like, share, subscribe, all of that wonderful stuff. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.